guys, it's Imran and I'm on Alam Rock Road in Alam Rock in Birmingham. And that is Desi Dera and this is your official Beaded Review. Guys, let's talk atmosphere. It's a humongous uh, restaurant this is. You, you can't tell from outside, it's quite deceptive. But it's got loads and loads of space. I'm here quite early, that's why there's no customers. Normally this place is quite rammed out. But guys, time to order. So we are going for the chicken curry, the mutton curry, we're going for the lamb chops, and we're going for the masala fish. So the chicken curry and the lamb curry, very simple. Uh, traditional Southeast Asian Pakistani food, cooked in a wok, fresh. So it's gonna take about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Then we've gone for the lamb chops, which I believe they cook in a clay oven, just like they do uh, at Tindur, just like they cook uh, chapatis, they cook lamb chops in there. So they're supposed to be really good. And then we're going for a masala fish. Uh, their masala is supposed to be outstanding. Uh, so let's check it out, it's time to eat. live and direct action from the kitchen. Everything going on here from the noodles. This is the guy back at the noodles. Don't mess with this guy, he makes some serious noise. But let's have a look over here. This is like a production line going on. Let me show you this. This guy not just doing one guy, he's doing six at a time. Now that's what you call a professional. Hello you sir. You know how we've been showing you that the noodles, these things, right, that they cook naan and protein. But look at this. He's cooking lamb chops in there. This is brilliant, this is. We've ordered these, right? Hopefully, they will have a much better taste. Could be like that. that is absolutely hot. But it's a different way of cooking the, the actual. restaurant right you have to understand that everything is made fresh I don't see over here it takes about 20 25 minutes to make one of these guys as you can see yeah, with all the more ingredients I think want chicken or you want lamb but it's gonna take time so if somebody just served you a curry and it's there you go there's some fresh chicken just there for you so it puts it in raw ingredients that's why it takes a little bit longer but the ingredient the, the whole method of the cooking you would appreciate when you eat it the flavor is in the curry itself i'm going to be eating it from right guys time to eat first up is the masala fish zoom into this this right guys i have to point out it's codfish this is not your everyday you go to a lot of restaurants where it's where they're, sell, where they're selling panga fish which is no good but this is cod so it looks like it's crispy from outside let me let me have a trace mm. crispy the tandoori masala there cumin seeds i can i can, I can taste but the fish is soft from, it, from the inside. That is a really, really good fish. I must try when you come to this restaurant. Right, next up is these bad boys. Check this out. I'm going to zoom into that. Can you see that? You know that looks good. I'm going to try it. Mm. That's nice. I'm going to take another bite. Mm -hmm. The massive difference in the taste made with salt, black pepper, mm -hmm. that sort of taste I'm getting. The fat's mm -hmm. right. The actual lamb chop itself is chewy. Mm -hmm. it, it's nice and chewy. It's not too hard. But you can tell the difference straight away. You know, after making the way they're making the tandoor, 
There's definitely a difference in taste, and that is a very good lamb chop. First up is the mutton karai. I need to zoom into this and check everything I can see. This looks absolutely lovely, guys. So let's dip in. We've gone for the the the, the chapati, the tandoori roti instead of the naan, which I find I find much better with this kind of food. Let's go in. Mm. These guys are making karai for the last 15 years. Probably the first people to introduce karai into Birmingham. And that is really good. That fresh ginger, green chilies, akasi coriander, cumin seeds. It's really overpowering. This this the actual flavour itself. Have a close up of this. Look what you can see inside this. If you want to cry, guys, this is right, joy. If you can, if you also notice, let me show you. Can you see? You got a little bit of oil. This is necessary within the cry itself, but it's not an overkill. So I've had cries before where, really and truly, you've got no masala whatsoever, but you've got a lot of oil, which is incorrect. Right, next up, guys, is the chicken cry. So if you'd like to zoom into this. As we saw in the kitchen, in the kitchen action, right? Freshly cooked. Okay, this is not, I have to keep on emphasizing this. This is something which is freshly cooked. We saw the the actual chicken being cooked in the actual curry itself. Again, a lot of use of ginger, right? Which a lot of curries don't have in there. Let's see what the actual taste is. Mm. Ginger, lovely coriander, look, just the ginger itself, zoom into this, just eating ginger like that is really good for you and there's plenty of it but that, that is a really authentic taste, brilliant, really good, if you want your cry, this is the best no There you have it, we're absolutely stuffed. Guys, these lot have called this, and I'll explain to you why it's called this. The karai itself, the wok, the chicken, the meat, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It doesn't get as more authentic than this. Um, it's freshly cooked. There's a lot of use of ginger. The actual spices, very, very nice. Very nice oil levels was in there, was brilliant. If you want a karai, and you want a proper one, the way it's supposed to be made, this is the right place for it, 100%. Lamb chops, brilliant. I, I, I couldn't knock them. The way they were made in the actual, um, the clay oven, uh, in the tandoori itself, really, really good idea. The taste was perfect, everything was really good. The fish, perfect masala fish. Really big well done to these guys. And guys, they're offering you 10% discount by quoting the Bearded Bros. Um, so it can't be all that bad. And guys, you gotta carry on watching the Bearded Reviews with the Bearded Bros.